Hey everybody, Fox Rose here, and wow, I have been having a fucking blast. <laughs> Alright, so, let's be blunt right now. Uh, as you all know, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon are officially out now. I went and got mine on Midnight Launch. And what did I get overall? Well, gonna go in the order that I obtained the items. So, first off, upon entry to the location, I got a... Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon little button pin thing. Uh, I'm going to show you both of them, like, size comparison, like, that's right next to my eye. And now for the detail, which you guys should be able to see just fine. Why is my camera being so slow? Okay, that was Sun. And this is Moon. Keep in mind, they're both around the same size. Maybe a little smaller, maybe a little bigger, I'm not sure. Uh, then, I had originally intended to pre-order the double pack with the metal cases involved, but I sadly was unable to get said item, so they put me on the normal item. But, uh... Here's the boxes themselves for Pokemon uh, Moon and Pokemon Sun. And right now, uh, Sai and I are actually doing a competition to see who ends up beating the game first with Pokemon Sun. Uh, currently, we've just gotten done our third battle per uh, the trial spe uh, specifications. And our little thing is we have to first finish the trial, and then we can go and do uh, a battle between the two of us. The current score for he and I is, I'm saying this as myself and then him, is currently two to one. Uh, I have no idea how many trials there are in general, but how we're doing this is we're not counting the grand trials, we're counting... Trials with a totem Pokemon involved, and we had just defeated Kiawe's trial, so that's where we are there. Uh, I'll talk about what Pokemon I've caught so far and their levels, but first, the last item that I had obtained is the Pokemon Alola Region map. This is a fine detail poster of all of the region. This is like the promotional art we've been seeing of Alola the whole time. And then, it's a double-sided poster. And what's the other side? Most of the Pokemon Ride features. You've got Charizard on top. You've got, I believe, Tauros? Oh, you've got Mudsdale there. Then you've got the trainer using the Poke Ride feature. And then you've got Sharpedo Smash. Along with these three different Poke Ride features uh, so far that I have found, we have Tauros Ride... Uh, Stoutland Search and Lapras Paddle. So far, those are the only other ride features that I'm aware of, but yeah, I think we're doing good so far. Also, going back to the games now, uh, Sai and I are actually doing a little competition to see um, who can beat the game first, like I was saying, but we set the challenge up so that we could only use Pokemon from the Alola region. This includes Alola variants, and if a Pokemon has an Alola re a variant, but its previous form does not, then the previous form still counts as an Alola Pokemon. That's how we had set it up. And, uh, just real quick, going through the Pokemon that I have captured. Again, captured, meaning that I myself got these. I didn't have anyone's help with them or anything. So, yeah. First up is the uh, Eevee egg that they gave you from the Pokemon Nursery. Uh, the uh, Munchlax from the event with Snorly MZ. And then, from weakest to strongest, we have my female level 23 Solandit with uh, Cleomoto. Then we've got my female Pom Pom style Oricorio named P K, I mean P O. K, uh, accented E, 
M-O-N, exclamation point. It's supposed to be like, P-O-K-E-M-O-N. If anyone knows that theme, then you'll get what I mean by that. Uh, then I have Brion, which at the time I didn't realize was a male when I had hatched it. Yes, hatched it. I didn't start with uh, Poplio. But uh, at the time I didn't realize it was male, and I named it Carolina after Agent Carolina from Red vs. Blue. Uh, next I have Cubone, uh, Trumbeak. Oh, and uh, Carolina is oh, excuse me, level 21. Cubone's level 23, and Trumbeak's level 18. Uh, then we have my male rock ruff, Akamaru, at level 19. Uh, Jazzy, my level 21 Fomantis. PK Spark, my level 21 Pikachu. Bumpy, which is actually named after my cat. My 17-year-old cat, uh, Bumpy, which is an Alolan Persian. Yeah. And Alolan Persian was actually one of the reasons that I even beat uh, Gumshoes for the Totem Pokemon trial, which was very fun, actually. Uh, Sectonia, which is my level 22 cutie fly. Uh, Bouncy, the bound sweet trade you get, uh, is now a level 22 Steenie. Uh, He-Man, which is supposed to be my Alolan level 23 Diglett. Then Shrume, my level 26 Shinotic which is the evolution of Morlul. Uh, my level 15 crab brawler named Sakura. My level 16 female psychic oracorio uh, Lilo. Then my level 17 Mariyoshi, which is Young Goose. Uh, then <laughs> the, the name on this one is a joke, and for classic music fans, you will enjoy this joke. Uh, my level 18 Alolan Grimer, named Ringo Star, and then my level 19 female Rockruff, which is just Rockruff, uh, next my level 15 Mudbrain named Shizzy6, because I love Shizzy6, he's just a great rapper, and I'm thinking of Mudsdale while I do this, so there you go. Okay, now these next six are my top six, and I actually am amazed with how well these Pokemon themselves have been performing. So number six is Robin Root, level 17, and it's a Dartrix. Uh, level 21, Alolan Raticate. Level 20, Chargebugged, na uh, Chargebug named Sparky. Level 22, Araquanid, named Lady Arachne. And then my starter, Ziggy, level 17, Toracat. And I named him Ziggy because he's just like the kitten that we had got recently, named Ziggy. <laughs> so I thought it'd be a fun little thing for Ziggy to be part of the game, just like Bumpy is. And then, my strongest Pokemon at this point in time, keep in mind, I'm still on Route 7, looking for a Pukumuku. Uh, this Pokemon, which is my strongest, is a level 20 female Wishy-Washy named Washy-Wishy. Clever name, I know. And when it comes to the Z crystals, I've only got the normal fighting fire and water ones right now. Going to be getting the grass one next, I think? I think Mallow's next. Anyways, that is all I have to say on this whole little thing. Uh, Coliseum's going to be going up tomorrow. Sorry that this is just a rush video. I just wanted to show you guys what I was getting. And there you go. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Comment in the comment section below your tips, tricks, and all that shite. Subscribe if you're new. Favorite the video if you want, but who the hell favorites the videos these days? Uh, tomorrow will be Coliseum, and I'm actually taking the next two days afterwards off because it's Thanksgiving, and I'll be chilling out with uh, Sav and her family for Thanksgiving this year. So, yeah.
Sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving. And, yeah. Anyways, this is Fox Rose, and I'm telling you all to rock and roll, dudes and vixens.